All right, welcome back to part five of Octodad, Dadliest Catch here on Dual Wield Gaming. I am Preposterous Whitey, your gracious host as always, and we are gonna see what we can do about this tank leaking problem. Oh god, we're covered in fucking piranhas. There we go. Uh oh. Eh. There we go. Well, she's suddenly more caring than she was a minute ago. Eh. Come on. Eh. Why am I getting strikes against me? Just because I can't plug a tank in five seconds doesn't mean I'm an octopus. Oh, jeez. Why is she so angry at me? guess because I never want to talk about our relationship, but it's not my fault, I just can't talk. I like the music in this game. It has a nice, kind of ser serene and surreal quality to it, much like the game itself. Very good choice. Whoever did the soundtrack, maybe if I had actually read the credits, I would know. But I didn't. Ooh, the deep dark sea. Cafeteria. What? Oh, it's a marine biologist. I just want my kids back. Okay, fucking Tom Jane from Arrested Development, sure. Hobo Dad. I just want my kids back. Uh oh. I'm not looking forward to finding out, honestly. That sounds scary. The deep darkness. It's like Earthbound. The end of Earthbound, I think. Maybe not quite the you end, are but. Now entering the deep ocean. Home to many strange and mysterious creatures. Bear witness to their world of. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Predators seek out the phosphorescent glow of their prey. Do you have what it takes to hunt in the darkness? I bet you don't. Good dancing, Dad! I tried to dance like you and hit my head in my teeth. Ugh. Just dance Octodad edition. I hope I don't have to get it perfectly to pass it, because I'm not going to. Yeah, I got the moves like Octo Jagger. Ugh, I don't even like that song. Why did I make that reference? Hunter, you have what it takes. Now take a shake light and descend. Sorry this is so dark, guys, but this is how they made the game. Lead Stacy through the jellies. Okay. Come on. <laughs> oh Jesus. Eh. I'm stuck on her. I'm stuck on her. Let's go. I'm right here, jeez. Calm your shit, kid. Calm your shit. Why... I don't understand what's going on. Uh, I am just stuck here in the corner. I don't know what to do. I am just stuck. I am completely stuck, you guys. This isn't just me being shitty at this game. She is standing there and I cannot get past her. So we're going to reload the checkpoint. 
That's a lovely thing to have to do because you get stuck against a wall. Sorry for hitting you. I don't know how to activate this light because it keeps getting turned off for some reason. I don't understand why I keep getting strikes against me. I'm confused. Oh god, that would be amazing. PB&J blanket. So is there nothing in that corner in the first place? Why does it exist? That's nice of her. Of jellyfish. Were you I bet you she were. knows what's up. Sounds like Maurice LaMarche's voice, but I doubt it is. What? Oh god, what is up with this place? What? Get the lights working. Why do I have to do fucking everything in this aquarium? Don't they have people that run this place? Okay, so they say one, two, and three. I don't know what that means, though. Do I have to put these in them? Eh. Just get the lights working. How am I supposed to do that exactly? Especially since it's so fucking dark. I don't understand you guys. I'm sorry. I don't want to be dumb. Am I fucking stuck again? Okay, good. That is my least favorite game thing about this game so far is that I keep getting stuck on everything. Uh. <laughs> Case in point. So just get the lights working. Okay, okay. Go to maintenance. Mom doesn't usually let me play around electrical socket. Okay. Am I really dumb, or is this just hard? Eh. Okay. So we're making some progress here. Eh. Come on. Welcome to Dual Wheeled Gaming, where you can listen to me grunt for half an hour. Okay. So where does this one go? Uh, right there. Come on. There we go. So what are all the glow sticks on the floor for, then? They don't have anything to do with fixing the lights? And also, the lights aren't broken, they're just unplugged. Come on. Alright, well, I guess it does just say get the lights working, not fix the lights, but still. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Reveal the dark statue. Okay, so I gotta go back out here. I better not be able to unplug these by tripping over them, because it's impossible not to. Ugh. I'm just fucking stuck on everything. And it's dark. Like, I get the point. 
but that doesn't mean that it's not an annoying point. So what's the point of the numbers? Oh, okay. That means where I gotta shine him. Okay. Does that count? Okay. You know, the problem about having a light puzzle in a game is that you need to be able to see in order to f figure out a puzzle in the first place. The amazingly cuddly snugglefish. A stuffed snugglefish toy makes a killer gift. <laughs> That's either Maurice LaMarche or a pretty... someone who wants to be Maurice LaMarche. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is cute. When I like this game, I really like it. When I when I don't like it, I really don't like it. It's conflicting. Were you undelighted? I bet you weren't. Very well put, Mr. Narrator. Very well put. I was undelighted at a few parts of that, but mainly because I don't like not being able to fucking see. Alright, so on the next episode, in part 6 of Octodad Deadliest Catch, we will find our son Tommy. We've already found our wife and our daughter, so he's next on the list. They don't! See you guys.